So typically the fishery takes uh, sea urchins greater than 85 millimetre test diameter, um, so a, a moderate sized sea urchin. The take all harvest uh, enabled the fishermen to take all size classes of sea urchin, so all the way down to uh, 30 to 40 millimetres, some of the very small juvenile sea urchins. We sort of recognise the area as, as an area that we need to get some effort into and haven't seen much fishing just basically due to the um, catch rates and the per kilo dollar rates being higher elsewhere. Um, that's an area down there of high value to you know, a lot of industries and a lot of recreational people as well. And, yeah, and we thought yeah, it was a great opportunity to get in and prevent any damage being done while we can and get ahead of the game down there. So each of the divers had a GPS logger and a depth logger. Uh, and these new loggers provided real-time data, uh, sending signals back uh, to our land base uh, every day. So we can see where the divers have been every day, uh, spatially and also with their depth ranges. The, the information in the short term enabled us to present that to the divers. They could see where each other's divers been, so they weren't covering the same ground every day, enabling them to be very efficient in their work. Uh, in the long term, we can overlay that data with our research data and look at the habitat recovery from where this take all harvest has occurred. As to our um, harvesting efficiency and our GPS data day in, day out, they were supplying. We um, managed to, to run the operation as efficiently as we could and cover the area as efficiently as possible. We were on the ground, we're ready to go and you know we've got evidence based to, to say we can do it. The, the data coming out of this uh, Take All project will give us good baseline data for, for years to come in terms of modelling urchin growth, uh, looking at recovery within the Tasman Peninsula where the harvest has occurred. But we just had very good communication between the commercial dive industry and IMAS to facilitate the collection of information. Definitely in this area, it was an area that we um, all saw that we could work together and share information, um, which is pretty uncommon generally in fisheries. You know, all our guys are passionate about the water and the ocean, that's why they're fishermen. Um, that's what's led them to the water and, you know, everyone's uh, interested in trying to do the best thing they can do for the environment and this is a great cause to get everyone together and work together, share that information to, to get the best desired outcome. So we're lucky enough down here in Tassie, we've got a, a harvest industry underway. You know, moving forward, we've got to try and keep the support around that industry because that's the long-term cost-efficient method. So I was first contacted about assisting with this program, the Take or Harvest, a number of months ago um, by members of the Tasmanian Commercial Divers Association. I thought it was a really valuable thing to look at doing um, from a number of perspectives. The zone that was identified, we don't traditionally target for commercial urchin harvesting, so it was really interesting for us to be able to see what the viability of that area is. From the, the take or harvest perspective, I didn't really have a figure that I had in mind when we, we undertook to participate in this. It was really just to get into it and assist the, the industry as a whole. Um, look, sure we thought we'd get something out of it in terms of a product or an, a, a fish that we could actually process but we really didn't have any preconceived idea of what those figures were going to look like. Basically over the three week period that we, uh, that we did, you know, took part in the operation, we saw, so it was just uh, shy of 35 tonne come out of the water. It involved, yeah, about uh, up to 40 divers and deckhands. I think the outcomes, yeah, were pretty invaluable. We had over 70% of the product got processed. I think it was a really, um, worthwhile and, and valuable exercise from a, from a number of perspectives. I, I think it, certainly from my perspective, it seemed to achieve the outcomes that were initially, you know, the desirables when the, I think the, the project was first in its planning stages, there were some outcomes that the different parties wanted to, were hoping to achieve by undertaking it. And I think certainly from our perspective, that was met. I, I think it's valuable. I'd certainly be interested in collaborating with the, the TCDA again on, a, on a similar types of programs because obviously this was just in one particular zone or a number of zones but in quite a isolated area. A lot of areas throughout Tasmania who could probably benefit from a similar type of program and we'd be more than happy um, to participate in it again for sure.